Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another Luma Fusion video tutorial. Today, we're going to do a 2D parallax effect using these elements that I created in ChatGPT. So we've got Doc and Marty Brown, and behind that, we've got the Hill Valley Clock and Town Hall or whatever. So the first thing we're going to need to do is resize the two different layers, and then I'll show you how to apply the keyframes. So let's get started. Okay, for the top layer, I'll just double tap and go into it. I'm just going to shrink our two lead characters, Doc and Marty, down to a bit there. And I want them to basically kind of get zoomed into and enlarge. So we're going to start them quite small. Now, if they're going to get bigger, the background has to do the opposite and it has to get smaller. So if we tap on that, it has to start pretty big. So we can dominate the frame with it like that. And you can see where the starting point is. So if we go back to Doc and Marty, set up our first keyframe, and we want to go to the end of the clip, so five second clip. So this is going to be quite a slow parallax effect, but I am going to show you how to adjust the speed at a later stage. And then I want to pinch and zoom and give these guys a good amount of size, fill in the frame. You can see as before, and there's after. And then if we go to our visibility, we'll just switch them off a second. And starting with the Hill Valley Town Hall Clock Tower thingy jiggy, first keyframe, go to the last frame. And then we just want to reduce this down, kind of get it to fit in, say about there, that looks good. So we're going to go from there, and we're going to come down to there. Now, for this to work effectively, if I just actually run it through as it is, it looks okay like this. There's nothing wrong with this. This kind of works, but we can refine it an awful lot more. And to do that, again, I'm going to switch off the visibility and work on individual layers. Now, this background layer doesn't need transparency because we're filling the whole frame. So we're going to save that as a movie, pop it into the rendered folders. I'm just going to set it up at its highest quality. That looks pretty good to me. Tap, and we'll call this Hill Valley Clock. Put the clock part in, it helps. There we go. Render that out. That's done. And you'll see that's now in our Hill Valley Clock. Then I want to switch that visibility off, put on Doc and Marty. And when it comes to rendering them out, again, do it as a movie, into the rendered folders. I've already done the settings, so just tap the star to change the recommended settings. But this time, I'm going to change the video codec to EGVC with transparency. And there's no audio, but I would always just get into the habit of doing video only for this. And then tap there. We'll get rid of that title. And we'll just put Doc and Marty. Tap there, tap there. And it's just going to quickly write up. Now that we've got the two elements, bring in the video layers. So we should have a five second clip nicely animated and then we bring Doc and Marty in and this is where we can control the speed a bit better. So let's work on the background just now. Tap on Hill Valley Clock. Make sure you're on the first frame. So in Colour and Effects I'm going to apply a number 10 Gaussian Blur. Drop a keyframe but initially because it's close up we're just going to drop it down to zero and take it to the end and apply our 10 because it's going from close up to wider, so it's going to be more out of focus. Then we switch on our main men, play it through once again, and you'll see we're getting depth as well going on now. So what we want to do now is we want to adjust the speed. So we're going to speed and reverse. Now if you'd done this just as the graphics, you wouldn't have had a speed and reverse option. And what we want to do is just play with the speed a little bit. So I'm going to increase it to, let's say, 1.5 times. Come out of that, and that's looking good. And then I'm going to make Doc and Marty a bit faster, because things in the foreground tend to be faster than things in the background. So we'll go to the beginning of the clip, tap on our pencil, and things that are closer is going to be faster. So I'm going to take it up to maybe 2.25 times. See how that looks. I think that might work quite well. Okay, let's try again. Yep, that has the desired effect. And obviously they disappear two seconds and five frames. So all I'm going to make sure I'm doing is lining up the background and just reducing that so the two match. And there you go. There's your quick and easy 2D parallax effect. If you enjoyed the video today, give it a like and share. And I will see you on the next one. See you later. 
Ai, cara!